How y'all doing out there, YouTube world? Um, this is K Dog from the Flaw Boy Podcast. Also, K Dog from Creole Boys Fishing. I before buying my Triton, I looked online and YouTube, um, looking for someone else who had an aluminum Triton boat like the one I was interested in buying. But I didn't have any luck finding anyone who went into detail about their boat. Um, there were a few people that had some with might have been a minute or so footage of just a Triton boat aluminum that they were selling. So I wanted to go into a little bit of detail of my own boat, explain how um, I went about choosing to purchase my Triton boat. Some of the, 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 the cons and a whole, 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 whole lot of the pros that um that made me make this decision as compared to buying a a lumacraft or maybe a low or a uh, bass tracker anyway so this is a the boat i have is a 17 triton tc tc stands for uh the crappie edition um and i'll get into detail of why it is considered a crappie edition um, so when I first purchased this boat, it had a Minn Kota Tarova on it, a uh, 2010 model Tarova, and it didn't last long. Um, when I when I got it, the foot control was giving me some issues, and I was able to turn it off with the knob, but then slowly uh, the, the trolling motor faded away and it went out. So I went and I purchased a Minn Kota Edge, a 45-pound thrust hand control, uh, which I have the, the extension tiller handle on it that extends this 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 uh handle probably about another 36 inches so it reaches my seat when i'm able to to navigate um let me go ahead and step up into the triton and be able to give you guys um a little bit better footage um so this is a 2010 model I bought used from a family member who had taken very, very, very good care of this boat. Um, very low hours on the motor. Um, so I'm going to walk to the front of the boat and just give you guys a brief overview of the front. So what makes the crappie edition is that it has three spots that you can put your pole that you sit on, uh, your pedestal pole. For fishing so you can have two people fishing up here at the same time on two different pedestals two different seats so i have my seat in the middle pedestal hole as you can see the other two on either side up here is a little storage compartment i keep my um tow rope or my dock rope in here also my throw cushion that is required by wildlife and fisheries um there was a fish finder here when the trolling motor went out i took it off and uh, i did order a new one it'll be coming in sometime next week and i'll get it wired up to this edge um little storage compartment here or you can put the drinks um, anchors, you know, we, 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 we got to carry anchors. Um, I, I don't have the money for a power pole or anything like that. But throwing them anchors out will do the same thing for me. Here is the small live well. Also, your bait bucket for your minnows comes in it. Um, live well does work good. I'm not a tournament fisherman. So I'm not catching a whole whole bunch of bass that I got to keep alive in there. Um, here is your rod compartment, which I use as storage because I keep my rods up here strapped to the bungees. I use it as storage. I keep a few things in here. Um, paddles. Um, other things that I may use a weight. I mean a scale so that I can weigh my fish when I catch one of them monsters. 
here is where I keep my life jackets. Another requirement you have to have on your life jackets anytime you're moving your boat um, at throttle. Okay, so this is the console. Um, just like any other console, it controls my aerator both for the front live well and the back live well also the bilge pump and my navigational lights also a 12 volt um power for charging your cell phone or whatnot it comes with this um lawrence system which is a i i, I find it does what it's supposed to do um voltage meter your rpm your mouse power and your fuel gauge this boat when i bought it came with this here which is a um it's an older model gorman i believe it's 500 series with gorman maps like i said it came with the boat um and it does fairly well i mean i don't i'm, I'm not a, a big tech savvy guy that uses all these electronics out there um going to the back side this seat right here does lift up for storage um we're, we're, we're about to go fishing so i have some crickets and stuff in the boat right now but um i keep me another um net some you know you got to have mosquito repellent out here in louisiana um a ruler you know for measuring fish that have to be of a certain size I also keep me a net right here on this um this little net holder i'll call it um that i made to be able to put my net on your lights navigational lights for nighttime one of my biggest things i like about this boat is that i don't have to carry a um tackle box with me i can keep my tackle in these two storage compartments here they came with um a few compartments few um of the insulated uh bait compartments and i bought the rest that fit in it so i keep me a lot of bait in here you know when you bring kids fishing you can't go too short on having corks or hooks or weights because sometimes them young ones well sometimes us adults will tree fish a little bit or as i can say squirrel fish a little bit um another anchor i keep back here on the back side of the boat and then other compartment i bass fish a lot so um, i love my flukes uh, i love fishing with the green lizards watermelon color lizards um but i'm a, a big fluke guy another compartment that I keep in here um, just full of different bass lures or whatnot. You can have your pedestal pole here and have a person fishing here, or you can have them fishing here off of this pedestal seat here. On this side of the boat here is another compartment that's used for your minnows or live well, just depends on how much fish you catch. This side here, this compartment is for my batteries, also the gas tank, and then this um, Triton, 2010 Triton TC17 is powered by this 70 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke, which is a 2011 model, um, and it pushes this boat with myself, two passengers, um, all of our fishing equipment and everything it pushes it about 32 33 miles an hour which is plenty fast enough on the water for what i need to do and for what i intend on doing out on the water so as i was saying this triton tc17 here um it's plenty enough boat for what i fish you know like i said i'm not a big tournament fisherman or anything 
the trailer itself being a 2010 is in very good shape um, no rust in the trailer at all I will say that the um, the chrome rims that came with it have some rust on them but for a 2010 model I think the boat itself is in excellent excellent shape um, so Triton TC 17 is an all weld aluminum boat that Triton makes I would put this boat up against other aluminum boat um, be it the Alumacraft the Bass Tracker the Low um, the, the, the there's a new Bass Tracker XL that just came out but I believe Triton did a really really good job in making this all well boat so far I have not had any trouble with it it handles waves the way it should um, I'm very 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 satisfied with it so if you're another guy out there that's looking into purchasing one of the Triton aluminum boats I definitely give you give Triton an all thumbs up with the way they crafted this Triton TC 17 2010 model please like and subscribe and look for other videos like I said you guys can find me on the Plowboy podcast P L O W B O I P O D C A S T Plowboy Plowboy podcast we do a weekly podcast thank you